Hello everyone, welcome to Talent Sprint. In this session of Geography, we shall discuss the part 2 of the Earth, that is interior of Earth. So we shall discuss in detail about this interior of the Earth. How much do you know about the interior of the Earth? We may be knowing crust, mantle and core. We shall discuss all those things about the interior of the Earth in this topic. So are you ready? Shall we start? Yes. So moving on, how the evolution of the Earth has started, how the layers of the Earth has started how the atmosphere, how the hydrosphere and how the lithosphere have been evolved on the earth. We shall see first. So earth was formed, we know that earth was formed around 4.6 billion years ago. Okay, which was disintegrated from a huge uh, tiny ball that is Big Bang Theory which explains this uh, formation of earth. So then how was the lithosphere which we have the surface of the earth okay is developed so after the parts which were separated from the tiny ball of huge mass there were a lot of temperatures on this earth slowly we interacting with different gases the outer surface of the earth began to cool so when it begins to cool the liquid will start to form solid or it becomes a solidified in nature so when it becomes a solidified it will become solid so slowly disintegrated into different layers first is crust then mantle and then core so that's why core will have higher temperatures still it is under disintegration okay so these is about this is about the development of lithosphere moving on to development of atmosphere how the atmosphere was evolved so due to volcanic eruptions and earthquakes, the hot gases have been released into the atmosphere. So when these gases were released, the atmosphere is formed. What do you mean by atmosphere? Atmosphere is nothing but it is a blanket of gases, of various gases. Okay, then how was hydrosphere that is our water has developed? So when these gases were escaped into the atmosphere, when the temperatures have cooled down, this gases used to condense and become into liquids so they fell as rain or precipitation or snow like our oceans and seas were formed because of the precipitations caused by the condensation of the gases so when these gases have been cooled so they began to fall as the water droplets and these oceans and seas were formed because of the gases which were released into the atmosphere forming the atmosphere later we have the hydrosphere so this is the, about the evolution of lithosphere hydrosphere and atmosphere clear about these three evolutions so moving on to what is there inside the earth we shall discuss in detail so interior of the earth so interior of the earth we have different layers i have already told you there are different uh, layers which were disintegrated based upon density so higher the density it will be at the lower uh, stage core will have higher density mantle we have lesser and the crust will have very lesser density right so denser particles will settle down and lighter particles will float up in the same way these layers have disintegrated crust mantle and core so first the layer of the earth which we touch is our crust okay so it is the outermost part of the earth and it is in solid in nature okay so in we have oceanic crust and continental crust so after the ocean also we have some crust so generally it is around 5 kilometers thickness and continental crust is around 30 kilometers thickness and oceanic crust has a density of 2.7 gram per centimeter cube and uh, Continental crust has a density of 3 gram per centimeter cube. Okay, so we have oceanic crust and continental crust. And uh, crust is also known as Cl. Why Cl? It is dominated by two minerals called silicon and aluminium. So remember this Cl is present in crust. Remember this. So silicon and aluminium is present in more quantity in the crust so crust is called as cl moving on to next layer that is mantle 
so the portion that is interior beyond the crust is called as mantle okay clear with this and the discontinuity between the crust and the mantle is called as moho mohorovic or moho discontinuity the discontinuity between the crust and the mantle is called as mohorovic or moho discontinuity clear with this and the mantle is having around 2900 kilometers thickness crust is around 30 to 100 kilometers maximum but mantle has a thickness of 2900 kilometers thickness and mantle is dominated by sima silicon and magnesium generally magnesium has mg but for our convenience to remember we have sima so crust has cl and mantle has sima silicon and magnesium minerals will dominate in the mantle moving on to the density of the mantle it has around 3.3 to 5.4 gram per centimeter cube i've already told you denser particles will settle down and moving on some more things about mantle and uh, the total crust plus upper layer of the mantle is called as lithosphere okay the total crust plus some part of the upper layer of the mantle is called as lithosphere and the asthenosphere hope you see this uh, diagram you can see clearly what is asthenosphere so asthenosphere is the topmost layer of the mantle so this asthenosphere is the weakest layer and it is highly viscous in nature where the magma which is present in the asthenosphere Asthenos asthenosphere is very weak layer and is highly viscous okay so where the magma for the volcano is present in the asthenosphere only okay earth has the plates these plates will move because of the magma only we shall discuss in the further topics what is plate tectonics okay so magma which is for the eruption of volcano is present in the asthenosphere of mantle only clear with this and it is around 80 to 200 kilometers after the crust remember this moving on to next inner layer of the earth that is core so it is generally divided into inner core and outer core we shall discuss in detail so the discontinuity which is separating the mantle and core is called as Gutenberg's discontinuity remember this and the inner core is always solid in nature and the outer core is always liquid in nature and the core is dominated by knife knife means nickel and iron iron we have the symbol fe so crust is having cl and mantle is having sima and the core is having knife and it has a density of 9.5 to 14.5 grams per centimeter cube the density will go on increase pressure temperature everything will increase when we move towards the center of the earth okay and some more things about core we have already told you that is inner core and outer core inner core is solid in nature and outer core is liquid in nature okay and uh, the discontinuity between the outer core and the inner core is called as layman's discontinuity clear with this so these are the three layers crust mantle and core clear about this so this is about the interior of the earth and the different layers crust mantle and core hope you have learned enough things in this topic we shall meet in the next session thank you